As Illinois gets ready to celebrate its 200th birthday, it's a good time to learn about what has helped grow the state into what it is today. And in the 1800s, canals did that, bridging Lake Michigan and the Mississippi River. And Brian Burke hopped on board one very unique tour that showcases history in a kind of fun way. It is definitely unique. So I hopped up on the INM Canal to LaSalle to take a ride on one of the only mule-powered boats in America. Now, today that seems a little bit strange, but back in the heyday of canal transportation, it's how most boats were pulled. It's a one-of-a-kind opportunity to do something very unexpected. I've got an old mule and her name is Sal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. We've it may not be the Erie Canal. But here in Illinois, it was another canal that helped make the land of Lincoln what it is today. This is the canal that built Illinois. Without this canal, it, Illinois would not be in the way it is right now. Matthew Pelican loves honoring Illinois' canal boat past. And lucky for him, he's found a job that lets him do just that. This is advertised as a mule-pulled canal boat, so someone needs to make sure that the mule actually pulls the boat. So that's my job here. I'm walking with Larry, making sure he doesn't just stand around eating grass all day. It's a job that today seems like a novelty, but go back 170 years, and it was a necessity. The boats were able to operate uh, 24 hours a day through the unique experience of them having what were referred to as mule skinners. And these were young boys, commonly between the ages of 15 and 19, and they were what we would call an independent contractor. They traditionally worked for themselves um, or, or through someone where they would negotiate with the captains, and they would argue that their mules were the fastest or the strongest or the cheapest or, or whatever they needed to say so that the captain would choose him and his mule team, and they would connect to the boat and travel the agreed-upon distance or or time. It's the system that powered the canal, which revolutionized travel and transport. The canal created a water highway throughout the center of our nation. Uh, before this canal opened, the journey between places like New York and New Orleans was traditionally taken around the coast via sailing ship, and goods like produce couldn't survive that lengthy journey at sea. Now, thanks to this canal, goods could come up the Mississippi on a steamboat and divert onto the Illinois until they reached the port of LaSalle, where the volunteer docks. While railroads largely replaced the canal by the end of the 19th century, today people can still experience the journey thanks to the volunteer. Bring in new people that had no idea of what the canal had helped to, to build or establish or it knew that the boat existed and we offered tours um, like this. Um, so it's been nice to connect and meet a lot of new people from across the state and across the Midwest. To be able to take part in something that tries to closely resemble what they would have done back then. It, it's, it's fun for me. I like it. A unique way to bring history alive. You can always tell your neighbor, you can always tell your pal if he's ever navigated on the Erie Canal.